Hi, my name is Shruti and this is Roshali and we are presenting our project which is on blind person assistance using object detection. So the objective of our project was mainly to assist visually impaired people in order to detect objects while using Google Glass so that they get spoken cues and know what is it that they are really seeing. And uh, the methodology that we used was uh, we streamed the video to a cloudlet, which is a low latency server, uh, which is one Wi-Fi hop away, and it has high bandwidth. So we get faster response in terms of the image processing that is happening over there. And then once the object names go back to the user, uh, it will read out the object names to the user. So like I... Uh, mentioned earlier our key components were cloudlet gabriel and inception inception is a an state of art object detection model that was uh, implemented by google researchers and um, we simply used it as a black box to get our results uh, and on results uh, we noticed that each frame was being processed in 200 to 300 milliseconds of time, which is pretty fast for an uh, object detection model, considering how much uh, processing power is actually needed on the background. We also interviewed a blind person to actually validate our project because we wanted to know if this would really appeal someone for whom we are targeting the, uh, the project. And uh, we noticed that he was pretty, um, like, uh, accepting of the whole idea, he said that it would be nice if this uh, particular model would work in areas that he's never been to before, as well as it would help people who have newly lost vision. would be more useful if it could detect signboards because if he's walking around and he wants to know where the exit is and nobody is there to tell him, that would be great. And uh, in terms of future work, we want to combine this functionality of detecting objects with directions to the object so that the person can also pick the object if he needs to or avoid it if he needs to. And also use a object detection model which can classify more number of objects than it currently does. Yeah. So as you can see, she's looking at the laptop and it shows that it can see a notebook. It also predicts computer, uh, mouse, desk as the other options because these are in the vicinity. Then the next thing she's looking at is a paper towel and it shows toilet paper, paper towel as the alternatives of what she's looking at. Then another thing she's looking at right now is an analog clock. Uh, yeah, and as you can see, you can find an analog clock.